A cessation of hostilities will allow essential humanitarian aid to be delivered and enable civilians to move around safely. It will save lives, prevent suffering, and protect civilians. I hope a ceasefire will also help to address the global consequences of this war, which risks compounding the deep hunger crisis in many developing countries that already lack fiscal space to invest in their recovery from the pandemic and now face soaring food and energy costs. He already made uh, some contacts, and of course, uh, I hope that we'll be able to go to both Moscow and Kyiv uh, uh, as soon as uh, uh, that uh, becomes possible. It's very important to establish a serious dialogue with both parties in relation to the possibility of this humanitarian ceasefire. But let's be clear. The solution to this humanitarian tragedy is not humanitarian. It is political. I'm therefore appealing for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire to allow for progress in serious political negotiations aiming at reaching a peace agreement based on the principles of the United Nations Charter. I strongly appeal to the parties to this conflict and to the international community as a whole to work with us for peace in solidarity with the people of Ukraine and across the world.